This integral is a little harder than it looks. At first glance, this seems like a straightforward integral, but if you look at the interval, we're integrating from zero to three. And when x is equal to two, we get one over two minus two squared. So that's one over zero, which means that we have a discontinuity. So to evaluate this, we first need to split the integral up into two steps. First, integrate from zero to two, and then integrate from two to three. Now to evaluate this, we can start with the first integral and go from there. Since this is an improper integral, we're gonna to need to use our limit trick to split this up. The two is the part where the issue is, so let's replace that with a variable, we'll call it t, and then we'll take the limit as t goes to two from the negative side. So we can evaluate that integral and then take the limit after. When we evaluate the integral, we get minus x minus two to the power of negative one, evaluated from zero to t. So when we plug that in, we'll get minus one over t minus two, and minus negative one over zero minus two. Then once we clean that up, we'll have negative one over t minus two minus a half. And if we take the limit as t goes to two from the negative side, that means that you can imagine that we're approaching two from a number that's less than two, which would make the denominator negative. That turns into positive infinity. And then the negative half just sticks around. So our final answer for that one is positive infinity, which means that the first half of that integral diverges. So that means that we can conclude that the entire integral also must diverge.